Hey, what's up guys? It's Vlad from Team Summers. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do the kettlebell floor press. Alright, it's not too hard of an exercise, uh, but you should start off with light weight just, uh, just to get a feel for the exercise. And then uh, move on from there to, you know, prevent injury and stuff. So what you want to do is you want to get a kettlebell. You want to lay down. Then when you pick the kettlebell up, when you do the floor press, you roll over, you grab it, keep it close to your body, grab it with the other hand. And you bring it to a 90 degree angle like this. So you don't want to be pressing it from here. You want it at a 90 degree angle. Then from here, you press it up. Now it's your choice if you want to keep the hand straight through the whole movement or if you want to twist it at the end so you can like turn it like this at the top that's that's your choice and then when you put it down you want to do the same thing you want to keep it close to your body put it down now you can also do this with two kettlebells i'm just going to get the other kettlebell right now Put it at a pretty, put it at a good distance so that you're able to pick it up properly. So from here, I'm gonna grab the, I'm gonna grab the kettlebell the same way. The first kettlebell, I'm gonna grab the same way. I'm gonna hug it, and this kettlebell. Uh, you have to make sure that this kettlebell doesn't slide this way and uh, you don't get hurt and all that stuff because if you go too far, you, the, the kettlebell could actually slide or even flip this way. So you got to be careful about that. Here, what you're going to do is roll over as much as you can. Keep this kettlebell close to your body so that it's easier to lift so that you don't injure yourself. And there, and then you have them both at a 90 degree angle. Now from here, same thing, it's your choice. If you want to keep it straight like this, or if you want to twist it at the end. And you can also try, there's, uh, there's several different ways to do the floor press. Uh, two basic ways basically, is you just lying on your back, floor pressing, or if you want it, if you want your muscles to work a bit differently, you can raise your hips, and then from here, press them up. And you exhale on the way uh, on the way up. So now when you put these down, you can just drop them like this. But you have to make sure there's nothing beside you uh, so that you don't uh, you don't get hurt and so that nobody else like nobody else is standing beside you so you don't drop it on their feet or anything so that's pretty much it that's how you do the kettlebell floor press uh, once again start off light so that you can uh, get a feel for the exercise uh, other than that I hope this helps you guys and we'll see you guys next time